hello, how are you? And welcome to another episode of the Let's Play with Brucia Dortmund with me, John, aka Old Man Suda. And, um, yeah, obviously, after the last episode where we lost against Paris and then we lost against um, Red Bull Leipzig, things hadn't, I was worried that things might take a bit of a downturn. Um, we did obviously still qualify Champions League, even though we lost to. Um, Paris Saint-Germain, um, but we end up being second in the league. As you can see, we are now first in the league. I'll show you the results, and then uh, I'll show you the league position after that. So we've had two games since the last episode. We we played uh, Oxenberg. Uh, we won three 0 It was all pretty simple, and yeah, really, really easy for us in, in retrospect. Um, they had a player sent off in the 30th minute. We probably could have won it by more uh, again, but it went really well for us. We won 3-0. Uh, Goez with the two goals. Or Gautier's goal, Goez, what his name is. Uh, Isaac with uh, another goal as well. And it's going really well for us. We then played Cloyne, uh, a, bit, a little bit of a better side. 1-1-0. Um, Milky, Mil Milka, I don't know what his name, I can't pronounce his names, I'm terrible at this. Scored in the 36th minute, as you can see here. They were probably a slightly better side, but we managed to get the goal. We had a lot of possession and things went real. The only bad thing was Sherlock got injured um, and is out for a little while at the moment. Um, I'll go through that, show you the squad in a minute. Uh, competition wise, though, as you can see, we are first with three points clear. Red Bull dropped. Um, some points so we've gone back up to the top we've also qualified for Champions League next year um, that came through so it meant that I was given budgets for next year um, if I go to scouting you can see it I've got 80 million to spend next year so we're going to look at definitely what players to buy in that um, so things have gone really really well for us in that retrospect uh, finances are looking really good 104 million in the bank uh, we are a little bit down, but obviously once we start getting money in and stuff like that, it's going to be really, really good for us. Uh, the board are absolutely delighted with me. So things have gone really well. If I go over to the conf confidence stuff, you will see what I mean. It said, where was it? Um, Competitions-wise, the board are very pleased. Uh, there you go. So German first, first division, you know, they're expecting us to qualify for Champions Cup, which we've done. So that's fine. German Cup was not good. We were meant to get to the final and we underperformed there. Super Cup um, did not regard it as important enough, but we won it anyway. And the minimum expectation was to reach the first knockout round. We'll, we've already done that and gone further. So we've obviously got Real Madrid in the next round. I'm untouchable at the moment, it's same, which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, dynamics wise as well that means that things are going really well for us very good we're good average here but I think things are going well if we win the league I think that will even boost up a little bit more so overall we cannot complain I was saying about injuries and as per usual there is a few injuries um, we've got a couple of unregistered players but Sherd is now injured he's out for only a few more days luckily so it's not too big an injury Skirtle's almost back. He's um got another week, and obviously the big one is Marco Ruse is out for God knows how long, and he'll probably get injured as soon as he comes back, like last time. Um, so apart from that, everything else is going really, really well for us. I mean, we haven't got many games left. If you look at the schedule, we've only got one, two, three, four, five, six games left. Probably the big one we've got is Bayern. There, but we've got the likes of Hangover, Hanover. That's going to be pretty different, difficult. We've got Schalke as well here at the last game of the season, which again will be really different, difficult. And even Hoffenheim will be difficult. I mean, none of these are easy games. In really, they're all reasonably difficult. So we need to keep cracking on and trying to win because obviously, if we get, if we if we drop even one game, we're probably going to end up losing the league at the moment. But I'm really happy with how things are going. I'm really, really, really pleased with it all. So that's that. I don't think there's much else to really talk about at the moment. Um, so we're going to just go straight into the into the game now. Obviously against Real Madrid. It's only going to be one game this episode. Um, but I think it's a big game. So 
think that's the one we're going to bring. So we're going to uh, have the team selection. And this is the team we're going to play with today. Um, we're going for a bit more of a defensive. We're playing away from home against Real Madrid. So I'm going for a bit more of a defensive lineup, playing on the counter, uh, looking to basically use the likes of the Ambam Yangs and Yamaloko and Pulsic sort of uh, speed to really get there for us. Decent defence, really looking to just shut up shop at the back here, stop them from even coming close to us if we can, and then breaking forward. That's the plan anyway. Whether it will work or not, we'll soon find out. Um, apart from that, it's reasonable sort of normal team. We've got Horn in goal. Uh, we will change him to sweeperkeeper on support because that's what he plays best at. Uh, Topak and Socrates are in defence. Guerrero, Way, and Pisek on the uh, sort of defensive midfield and win back roles. Um, obviously, but they're, they're playing in defensive, defensive still, so this should all be covered still. Uh, Dahoud and Castro are going to be sitting in front of them. Yamalenko, Partik, and Avram Yang are going to be our attacking players with the inside boards and a poacher. Hopefully, things will go well. I think they will. Um, so, we'll see how we get on. And. We're just going to get through all this really quickly because it's just not even. Because uh, I can't remember it greatly. I'm just doing all the usual. I know it's a bit boring to watch. But we're going to get through it quite quickly if we can. And hopefully get straight into the game because that's what we're really all here for, isn't it? At the moment. So we'll get to each other's tunnel. We'll send the assistant to that and we'll get straight into the game. And. Um, I'll double check my cameras because I was doing something. Cameras on direct. I prefer that on 2D Classic. Uh, while it's just at the start there, as Cruz now puts it in, he puts it into Benzema. He puts in a shot and hits the post. Oh, that was close. That was close. We'll be careful. We've got a free kick here now. We put it into the box. Can we get anything off it? And we go close, right, just inches away. Um. Sergio Ramos, you know, Casmero now with the ball, gets it to Bale, obviously Bale, absolutely wonderful talent, he puts it back to Modric, he gets it up to Ronaldo, and this Real Madrid team is so good, uh, we have the ball now, though. Castro with it, he puts it to Dahoud, Dahoud gets it to Yamalenko, Kazek, pass it around lovely, yamalenko has got the ball, he knocks it back to Dahoud, he tries to get a Bamyang in, but unfortunately we don't get it, and Cruz has now got the ball, gives it to Modric, gives it to Casemiro, Casemiro, Nacho to Ronaldo, and they're going to look to come forward. But Sergio Ramos has got it. Modric, Casemiro, Bale's now got it. They've got a little bit of room. Bale drives forward, but that's a terrible pass. Or is it? Well, I don't know if that was a shot or a pass, but that was absolutely terrible anyway. And our work in the tackle has been poor, and it is a disappointment. What can I do about that? Um, I'm not quite sure. We've been dominated in the air by Real Madrid. Uh, it's been pretty quiet, which is quite happy. I mean, at the end of the day, if we can walk out of here with a draw, nil nil draw, I'll be more than happy. I mean, even if we walk out away with a one nil loss, I'd be happy, to be honest. Um, but things are going pretty well. They've got a corner now. Cruz with the corner. He puts it out to Benzema. Puts it out. He's going to get a chance for a shot here. And he puts it in the net. And that's a bloody shame. Great goal by them, though, from the looks of it. But maybe we, we should have done a little bit better, shouldn't we, really? But we'll see it in 3D and see how it goes. So Cruz puts it out to Benzema. Benzema then gets a bit of space, puts a shot in, and it's a good, good, thunderous shot. But we should have done a little bit better. As we come up to half time, we're going to be 1 0 down against Real Madrid, which is a bit of a shame, but I still feel like we can get something out of this. Uh, in the other game, it's nil nil, Man U and Man City. Uh, team talk. What are we going to say? We are going to say calmly. Um, everyone needs to dig in. That's gone reasonably well, I think. Um, who's not playing well? I mean, overall, uh, I, there's not anyone I can really take off at the moment. I don't feel. Um, so we're just going to carry on and see. We've had one or two chances, so there's. Always a possibility we can get a goal here as well. Modric's now got the ball, and that's the end of the half. Um, we've only, we've only had a few shots, so unfortunately, I don't want to play too attacking because I feel like they will really get us if we go 
to sort of attacking on them. But what we're going to do is we're going to pause it quickly. We're going to make a few changes in the tactics. We're going to go to our normal 4231. We're going to take off. Uh, who are we going to take off? We're going to take off. Take off way, and we're going to bring on guys. Uh, if it lets me do it and just try to get a bit more of an attacking sort of formation going and hopefully that will maybe give us a chance see how that goes we're not going to play it on account we're going to play on standard and yeah we'll see how that goes i think yeah right and just see if we can by making a few little changes see if we can get a away goal because an away goal would be really really important for us if we can do that a couple of yellow cards now for real madrid there's 20 minutes left to go we might have to look to make one or two more changes soon Horn's going to boot it out here with, from a goal kick guys is going to pick up no they don't yeah we do a bamyang's got it now what's he going to do with it he gets it to pulse it pulse it between guys who tries to get it but it ricochets off and benzema's got it now and they're going to be coming forward Modric with the ball now, as he's got a bit of space, but Horn kicks it, and they get the second goal. That's really frustrating. We 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 tried to go a bit more attacking, and we've been punished for it. We're going to make a few more changes quickly before that shows. Um, we haven't got anyone. Can, well, Philip can play on left. We'll put Philip on. Sahin's also going to come on for. Um, come on for Dahoud. I think that'll be the best option. Um, and we'll leave it at that, shall we? Unfortunately, with Skirtle injured as well, we haven't got anyone defensive wise who can come. Oh, and that big crash was me dropping my mic. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Sorry about that. I might have to cut that a little bit out. Oh, damn. Didn't like that. I'll quickly cut that little bit of sound out, I, should, I will imagine. Uh, but yeah, two minutes left, and we're two 0 down. Four minutes added or extra time. Um, Isco, Isco's got the ball now. Gives it to Bale. But we managed, we managed to get a tackle there. We can't, unfortunately. We do there. Phillips now got the ball. Knocks it back to Horn, who boots it up the field. And unfortunately, we can't capitalise on it. Benzema with the ball again, but we get it. Socrates has got it, and he's trying to feed. I think it was Yamalenko, but unfortunately again we can't do anything with it and Nacho's now got the ball and he's got a little bit of room he gives it to Ronaldo Cruz now with the ball um, Ronaldo with the ball again and Ronaldo's coming forward but we get a great interception and Aubameyang picks it up but he's got nowhere to really go Phillips now got the ball and I think that was it that's the end of the time we do lose 2 now, which is a bit of a shame I would have liked to have maybe come away it was a little bit less than that, but it's Real Madrid at the end of the day. Um, I'm going to say unlucky boys. Everyone seems to be really happy apart from Socrates who looks to switch off. I'll hand it to the assistant. Everyone seems to have gone quite well there and we'll leave the match. Well, that was a shame. We've ended it on a lot. We've, we've ended it on a defeat. That is a shame uh, and a big crash, but... I don't think we could be quite happy and I still think we can we can get something out of it maybe in the home leg so it's not all over we've got to stay positive stay confident um yeah we're gonna obviously that is gonna be the end of the episode guys I'm not gonna bring you the second get uh, the uh, Hoffenheim game um we'll come back for the next Real Madrid game hopefully that will do uh be a bit better for us please drop a like please come and subscribe it'd be absolutely fantastic to get some likes for you guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Bye for now.